Good morning, everyone. Good morning. How are you guys feeling today? Yes. Who's excited for the election today? Mm-hmm. Well, my name is Miss Pauline, and I am happy to be back here on campus for our 2024 to 2025 ASB main speeches. We're very excited. Um, this is, of course, our first election here at our new campus. And so in many ways, it feels like it's a new experience, even though this may be your fifth or sixth time voting. Uh, every single year when you get to vote, you get to exercise your own uh, choice and you get to choose who you would like to be your leader, who you would like to represent you and hopefully have some fun activities, fun snacks along the way. Now, before we quickly uh, get to the main speeches, I want to briefly talk a little bit about what it takes to be a leader. Now, in previous elections, I've talked about a few different things. I've talked about um, leaders that need to be humble. I've talked about leaders that need to uh, be uh, kind and honest. I've also talked about leaders using their gifts and also being servant leaders. Today, I'd like to talk about leaders behind closed doors. Okay, let's pray before we begin. Father, thank you so much for this time. Thank you so much for allowing us to come together and be a part of this new election for this new academic year. We're so blessed to be able to have this opportunity to vote, to be able to have amazing leaders to represent us as students, as a school, and to be able to hear the voices of these students, to represent them, and to be able to provide an amazing school experience um, and boost school spirit as well. Please be with each of the ASB candidates as they prepare for their speeches, and be with the students as they vote. Give them wisdom and give them knowledge um, in the best way possible to vote for the best ASB for this coming year. We thank you for this opportunity, and we pray all of this in your precious name. Amen. Amen. All right. I want to focus on one verse today, a very simple verse, a verse from Proverbs. Let's read this together. One, two, three. Better is a poor person who walks in his integrity than one who is crooked in speech and is a fool. Yes. The word I want to focus on today is integrity. Who knows what integrity means? Who wants to take a stab at it? Yes, over there in the back. Caleb Chang. Integrity is um, the reliability someone has when someone is not there supervising them. Or OK, so the reliability that you might have on somebody if there's no supervisor. OK, that's one good way of putting it. Anybody else have any way of describing it? Yes, Allison. Strength and resilience. Strength and resilience. I'd say that would be one aspect of integrity. Anybody else? Okay, we have a good, good, uh, good little definition going on here. Integrity is very unique. It's a close cousin of the word, a synonym, if you will, of honesty, of someone who does not lie. However, integrity has a little bit more depth than honesty. Integrity implies strong morals. Integrity implies honesty not just in front of people but behind closed doors you may be on your best behavior in front of your friends you may not be on your best behavior in front of your parents and ideally you'll be on your best behavior in front of your teachers but what kind of student are you behind closed doors what kind of leader are you behind closed doors are the words and the thoughts that you have matching who you are and who people know you as? A true leader is a consistent leader, is someone who is honest in front of people as well as behind closed doors. When no one is watching and no one is listening, what you type, what you say to yourself in silence, and what you think. Those are all reflections of who you are and who you should be as a leader. Consistency in the front and in the back of who you are, in front of people and behind closed doors, is a true sign of integrity. 
Can you say that you are the same person behind closed doors as you are in front of your friends? Or are you on a different, do you have different behavior? I urge all of you students to think very carefully and to listen very carefully to every single one of these 12 speeches and ask yourself, who will lead our school the best? Who is a person, a leader of integrity, who is honest to you, to themselves, and behind closed doors? To God and Jesus, who knows every single thought in your heart and in your mind. Ask yourself, who will serve you best and who will listen to you best? Because there, you have strength in your vote, in your choice for the next 2024 to 2025 ASB cabinet and officers. Are you guys ready to hear the speeches? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Fantastic. All right. We're going to go ahead and begin our ASB speeches here. And we'll be starting with our public relations manager candidates. Now, as you met them yesterday, there are two, and you'll be able to hear from them and hear a little bit about their vision and what they would like to do as your PRM. All right, let's give a few moments as we set up, and they'll be here in a moment. <laughs> 